Welcome back to CAD CAM tutorial. This is the exercise number 13 and today we are going to learn some basic features tools in Autodesk Inventor. I hope you like it. So let's start to see how to make this simple part and we will see how to make thread, how to use hole command and create counter bore hole. So let's see how to make this simple part. exercise number 13 now here we are going to create a 3d model with the isometric view with the help of this 2d drawing this is section view and this is top view so we will start with bottom you will see the whole length is 120 millimeter and the outer diameter you will see 42 millimeter okay even though you will see here and how long we need to extrude or use join command to expand 10 millimeter okay then there is one circle outer circle how, how 42 millimeter and how long we need to ex extrude up to 50 millimeter from bottom face so from top face is 40 millimeter so let's make these two things now select new and here in choose metric standard millimeter part create we don't need to define parts because uh, unit because we already choose millimeter even though if you want to change just go to view and oh sorry tool and document setting unit and from here you can change the unit if you want inches you can change it simply here now so let's come to the model and click start 2d sketch and i'll use our top plane x y now sketch tools available here first i'll choose circle 42 millimeter press enter line the next command right click ok now let's define now this length 120 minus 21 it's 99 millimeter long even though it is still not defined so 42 millimeter and let me choose vertical okay this is vertical now it seems fully defined this sketch you are fully constrained you will see at right bottom finish the sketch click home button and you will see the top view click extrude now here we want to this is our first command to expand so it will automatically click use command join profile already selected that's why you will get this option now distance extent you need to define how long we need to 10 millimeter if you want to go down but we will keep upward side okay now i'll select this top face click sketch or create a sketch circle i'll draw one circle from here to here and i'll choose here one constraint co-centric constraint i'll select this one Ah, uh, no sorry i'll choose here equal space because it's already centered now see finish sketch now let's click extrude now it is already selected you have to choose profile and select this face distance how long we need to expand 40 minus 10 it's a uh, 50 minus 10 is 40 millimeter you will see direction is perfect output solid if you uncheck you, you will not able to see the preview okay now here next thing we are going to make this circle 30 millimeter and how long we need to extrude uh, 26 minus 10 is 16 millimeter from above the 10 millimeter thickness and distance 32 plus 42 it's 74 millimeter okay then there is one 
rib this is a joint rib 10, 8 mm thick and corner radius r5 now i'll select this face is create a sketch now see y section is 0 0 30 millimeter let's make distance distance from here to center of this it's 74 millimeter plus Okay, now let me finish sketch. Click extrude. And this time let me choose profile. See. Distance. We, you will see here joint and cut and intersection option. We are performing joint operation. 16 millimeter. Direction is going perfect. Direction 1. Okay. Now drop down the menu and I will choose x z plane sketch now i'll make here rib line i'll start this point and i'll connect with this green point okay now i'll choose constraint horizontal and i'll select this one now it is horizontal now this is fully constrained let me tilt it right click ok now you will see this yellow line just simply delete it we don't need this one because we want to expand only up to this portion now simply select finish in 3d model choose rip command now here i'll choose parallel to sketch plane now let me choose profile I'll choose this profile. See, this is the direction one we need to choose, and here two next. And the thickness we will keep both side, and thickness is eight millimeter. Okay. Fill it. I'll choose this corner and here you will put the option R5. Say OK or here select apply. Cancel. That's it. Now here we need to make M14 thread. So for M14 bolt we need to make 12 mm standard drill size. Then we will apply threading here. And one more option here hole. 24 28 and 12 this is counter bore hole so we will do this one first then this one counter bore hole simply select hole and here you have too many options so this is the counter bore hole and choose co-centric first we need to choose plane i will select plane now once you select plane it will ask you next option co-centric reference so we have to choose any circular face or edge so i'll select edge now here you need to define your dimensions first diameter 24 millimeter second one the depth is 28 and the bottom diameter 12 millimeter now let's say apply cancel now let me cho show you section view view half section and uh, xz plane apply now see this is the counter bore hole and section view now the next one here we need to create one hole first or finish sketch and simply we will use the same tool hole 
हियर वन ऑप्शन ड्रिल कोसेंट्रिक फर्स्ट फेस एंड एज एंड द ड्रिल साइज इज वी विल कीप 12 मिलीमीटर बिकॉज फॉर एम फोर्टीन वी ऑलवेज नीड स्टैंडर्ड 12 मिलीमीटर नाउ हियर वी विल अप्लाई थ्रेड सो सिंपली चूज थ्रेड नाउ सेलेक्ट फेस दिस इज योर फेस फुल लेंथ वी वॉन्ट टू अप्लाई स्पेसिफिकेशन वी विल कीप मेट्रिक एम फोर्टीन and here we will keep pitch 2 mm because our standard hole is 12 mm class 6 right to left this is what we like to apply cancel now let me show you the section view and uh, this is your section view okay now see this is the thread is created this is counter bore hole okay Now here the last option we need to make this extruded part 10 mm outer radius 25 mm distance from this face and uh, you will see 32 mm distance from center point and inside there is one hole and that is 10 mm this thickness also 10 mm so let's try we will use section x is kept just simply out of this and section view x z plane is sketch circle 10 mm radius means 20 mm diameter skip tool and let me drag it little somewhere here line and i'll start a tangent point this should be vertical okay a smart dimension now let me define the distance this distance is 32 mm enter now again the last distance from here to this is 25 enter okay now let me choose tangent this line and this circle its tangent now here constraint horizontal horizontal vertical this is vertical constraint okay now one more distance we need to define because this distance always uh, not try to make more because uh, it is fully constrained it should not intersect the hole Three D model extrude. Now we have to choose one, two because there are two close bodies, two close geometry. Thickness ten millimeter, and here symmetric. It should be move in both side. Solid. I'll select this face. Click create sketch. Circle. This diameter ten millimeter. I'll select here concentric constraint. Select this circle and this circle. See, it is comes in the center of this. Finish sketch. Extrude. Now already profile here is selected. Now this time we will choose cut. See the hole. Distance either keep distance or select up to next. Even though you can keep all. Okay. That's it. So this is your exercise number thirteen. Let me choose some color appearance. Sky blue medium. 
hold shift key and press your mouse and you can rotate your component in an, any direction you like to keep i hope you like it don't forget to share and like our video and please subscribe our channel for more video and more projects in solidworks thanks for watching